Well, once again, we're on location for our pet adoption segment today. We're up in the uh, Brookwood area because we came to visit Rio. Rio is, is a special dog, and you'll hear about that in a second. Rio's owner is Christy Mitchell. Christy, thanks for having us in your home today. Thank you. And Betty Freeman, of course, with the Humane Society of West Alabama, a board member there. Good to see you, Betty. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yes. How about Rio? Rio, because of health problems in the past, before... Uh, Christy ever had him, uh, had both eyes removed. And so he mm -hmm. is blind. But when you walk into your home, you don't know a blind dog greeted you. He's all over Absolutely you. Absolutely not. Yeah. He, he doesn't know he's blind. Yeah. <laughs> Betty, I think it takes a special person to adopt a special needs dog. Do you agree with that? It, absolutely. Oh. It takes a special person, someone who will understand his needs, know you gotta have sort of a routine to yeah. his daily mm -hmm. activities, and know that you gotta keep tabs on him. So absolutely, and Christy, when we got her application, talked to her, did a trial out yeah. here, we knew this was just the place. Christy, yeah. what was your thinking when you thought about adopting a dog and you heard about Rio, knew he could not see, uh, why did that not scare you off? Why, in fact, did it make you want him more? I just, he's just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. He's just, when I read his story, uh -huh. I just thought, you know, I think I could do a special needs dog. Yeah. And then, of course, when I met him, I'm like, okay, I want him, Betty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christy, I know it's obvious you can't let Rio out running around because he just can't see, right. but he finds his way around your house just fine. Are there any other limitations or restrictions that you and your husband have to think about? No, uh, none. I mean, he just, he hears really well and it's like he can sense things. Yeah. So like when he wants on the couch, he gets to the couch and he just jumps, jumps on the couch. Up. When when you opened your door and let us in today, he ran up to me and I wasn't sure that was Rio because he jumped up on my right. leg and wanted petted and looked right. up at me and then I realized, oh, that is Rio. Right. So you, otherwise, you almost have to be told that he has a I limitation so. like this. Uh, yes, he's he does very well. Um, when I say, do you want to go for a walk? He runs to the kitchen yeah. where I keep his leash and his little tail's wagging yeah. and he's ready to go. He's waiting for his leash on. Um, and I'll say, go get your toy. And he just runs over there and snips until great. he finds his toys. And he's just, just a regular dog. Good. <laughs> Betty, for folks who are watching today that might think, you know what? I could fall in love with any dog, but I could really fall in love with one that needs me too, like Rio needs uh, Christy. What kind of advice do you give our viewers who are thinking about adopting a dog? I guess you'd say do your homework, but don't be afraid of a special dog. Don't be afraid. Dogs are so more adaptable than mm -hmm. people are to mm -hmm. any kind of handicap, any kind of issue like that. They they have to show strength all the time. That's mm -hmm. in their genetics. And that's why dogs you don't know. You'll see three-legged dogs running around like they don't know they're missing right. a fourth one. Yeah. Deaf dogs, they really use their other senses so strongly it makes up for whatever kind of handicap or disability they have. So don't be afraid. Just keep tabs on them. Yeah. Certainly like yeah. this, have to have a, you know certain things like a fenced-in yard. Yep. Kind of have a routine. They like routine. So again, the same would apply. So please, dogs are resilient. They can handle it. Sure. <laughs> Better than people, like Absolutely. you said. In the a little bit of time we have left, Betty, give us the web address and a phone number if you like. How can folks make an appointment or come by the shelter and see what animals are available? Yes, we hope you will. Think about adopting. You can go to our website, www.humanesocietyofwa. Dot org. You can see pictures, descriptions of all the dogs and cats that we've got in our care. You can call us 554-0011 as well as go to Facebook. But we've hopefully got one just that you're waiting for. Betty, thank you. Christy, thanks for letting us come oh, sit in front you. of your Christmas tree. Merry Christmas to <laughs> you, you and to Rio. What a yes, good boy. He has I'm been so, so well behaved. <laughs> and he's a friendly dog and a, a, I think uh, you've got a, a friend for life here in, in uh, so. Rio. We appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. I think it's time to check on the weather. <laughs> oh.